Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the Common Room. Today we're going to be opening the first and last box from Culture and Crate for 2022. So keep watching if you would like to see the box themed all around the Hufflepuff Cup. Okay guys, so like I said, this is our first and last Culture and Crate box of 2022. Leanne, who is the owner of Culture and Crate, had to take some time off, so she has delayed any other of these boxes until 2023. But we are currently in the middle of a Horcrux collection, and I am very excited that before the boxes were delayed, she did finish the Hufflepuff Cup box, which we've got a few Slytherin items already, so I was very excited to get something Hufflepuff for Chris. So, of course, I'm so excited to get into this box. Now, a few things that I do want to let you know. This is the premium chest. There are two different levels, and this one has more items. This did cost me a little over $70 plus shipping, and these boxes are guaranteed to contain 15 or more items. Now, this one will actually have a few extras in here because I was missing one item from the Culture and Crate Advent chest. So she has included that in here and she did send me an email letting me know that she included a Hufflepuff specific item in here for Chris as well. So all of these boxes, they usually have like a house themed item. And of course mine is going to be Slytherin, but because she knew Chris was a Hufflepuff, she threw in a Hufflepuff one as well. So I am so excited to get in here and see what items we have. Now I did pre-cut this box just because there was a lot of tape on it, but I have not looked in here yet. So let's take a look together and see what, oh God, I got dropped it, it's very heavy. So let's take a look together and see what's in here. Oh, can't see anything, can you? Oh, it's, it's got a letter with my name on it. I'm instantly super excited to see what this says. Oh, oh. Okay, so there's just a little letter on here. I don't know if this is maybe because I was missing an item that she put a letter in but it just says Allie and it's like the cutest, smallest little font I've ever seen. And then on the back, it says the bank of green gods on this little wax seal. Oh, let's see what it says. Okay, I'm thinking this might be an item for everybody maybe. It says, at the top it says green gods wizarding bank, Diagon Alley, north side. And it says, dear Allie, Thank you for your interest in the position of curse breaker at the Bank of Gringotts, Diagon Alley, London. Please complete the application form overleaf and return it to the head goblin via Al at your earliest convenience. It says prospective curse breakers must show a natural ability in the detection and disablement of a wide range of curses. In order to continue your application, please identify and remove the curse placed upon these bloodied playing cards kindly donated by Mr. Burke of Borgen and Burke. We will automatically be notified should you succeed. I bet there's some kind of playing cards in here. I am very excited because it says it's coming from Borgen and Burke's. But you can see there's a little job application. Oh, I'm gonna have to fill that out and apply to be a curse breaker because that's the coolest little thing. I love the little envelope that it came in too. Yeah, that's cute. I really need a whole Gringotts like shelf on my bookshelves because that would be a perfect little item to go on there. But that was just on top. Let me take this purple off of here and see what else we have in the box. Oh, look, there's some boxes, but there's a t-shirt that says the brightest witch of her age. And it's Hermione theme because I see a little otter Patronus. Okay. Let's take a look. <sighs> this makes me very excited because I don't have any like Hermione themed shirts. And first off, I do love this color. It's kind of like a blue gray. You can see it's a really pretty image of Hermione with her otter Patronus. Again, this is the brightest witch of her age. And it's got, oh, it's got Crookshanks at the bottom here. And it says, when Guardian Leviosa, Oculus for Pero, Lumos Solem, and Bombarda, I, 
love that. I really like that it has the most slim on here because you have to say that when you ride the Hagrid's ride at Universal and it makes me so excited for my next vacation. But yes, this is a cute shirt. I love it's Hermione themed and I will definitely be wearing it. Okay, let me show you what it looks like without the shirt. Now there is an item on here that looks like the items you can get from Gringotts if you think of the Sorcerer's Stone. And it looks like it might be plain card shaped. So let's take a look and see if these are the Borgen and Burks cards. Oh wait, it was from Borgen and Burks. I don't know. In my head, I'm thinking this is going to be the item that our Green Gots letter told us about. So let's open it up and see. It's definitely our playing cards and I am super excited for them. It says a deck of playing cards, Magical Legends Founders Edition. And you can see it has like the school founders on here. We're going to have to open these and see what the cards look like because this makes me very happy. The little deck is really pretty too. I will say too that I have gotten a lot of subscription boxes in the last couple of years. And I don't think I've ever received a pack of cards, like a deck of cards. So this is exciting. So the front of the cards is already beautiful because you have this really kind of eerie vibe going on. It almost looks like there's blood on these, but it has the different houses. Like you can see the red is the hearts and it's for Gryffindor. You've got your clubs are going to be blue for Ravenclaw. The, oh wait, I'm sorry. It was the spades that were Gryffindor. The hearts are Hufflepuff and then the diamonds are Slytherin. And then you can see, oh, the first one I pull is perfection because it's the Joker, but it's Peeves the Joker. Look at how perfect he is. Are they like different characters for all of them? Oh, no. The numbers are all normal. They're just, oh. but then you get, oh. you get to like the face cards and for the Jack for Ravenclaw, we have the gray lady. And then you have, I don't know who this is. It's Ignatia Wildsmith. And she's the queen. But then you have Rowena Ravenclaw for the king. Oh, sorry, Rocco's barking at you guys. But that makes me so excited. Let me just take a look and tell you who the others are. Nearly Headless Nick is the Jack for Gryffindor. Then we have Dumbledore and Godric Gryffindor. Slytherin, I know Salazar Slytherin is going to be in here. Oh, we have the Bloody Baron and Merlin. And then who's our Hufflepuffs? The Fat Friar, of course. Newt Scamander is the Queen. I like that we got a little Newt thrown in there. And then Helga Hufflepuff, and we have another Peeves the Joker, but he's gray instead of red. So I wasn't expecting to be so excited, but I definitely am. I think those were really, really cool. I love the design of these, and these will be so much fun to play just card games with all of my magical friends. I can definitely take these on vacation with Tabby and Leanda because the hotel room that we're staying in has like a big dining room table. So I can definitely see us, we're gonna be there for a week. I can see us having like a night of playing games in the hotel and this will be so much fun. Okay, so the first couple items have already been fantastic. It looks like we have a pin that was hiding underneath that Green Gots little box for the playing cards. So let me give you the first look at it to see what this pin is. Oh wait. I think this is this is the item that I was missing from my advent calendar. Look at it. Okay, so the advent calendar I was missing day 14, I believe. And we had received two stickers in the box and we received a pin for one of them, but not a pin for the other. And so I thought this was probably what it was gonna be. But so our advent calendar item I was missing was a snow globe pin and I am obsessed with it. I forgot how excited I was for this pin if it was the item that was in there. So I am so happy that that is what it is and that I am finally going to get to add that to my collection. That is a great little pin. 
So I think that I might see the item that is a house themed item that she sent me one of Slytherin and Hufflepuff because there are two little pouches in here. One of them is yellow and one of them is green. So let me see. This is what I see in the box. And on the Slytherin one, it says Cauldron Crate House Drinking Straw. They kind of feel like metal, like metal straws in here, which I have so many Harry Potter cups now that I've received from subscription boxes that I think having a like Slytherin themed straw would be really cool if that's what this is. So let's take a look and see. Oh, I'm even more obsessed because the first thing that I see is it comes with a straw cleaner or a, what are these called? They're not called straw cleaners. Pipe cleaners, that's what they're called, but you can use it for your straw. So this is great that you have included this with it because I will be using this a lot. But there's two things in here. So there is just a metal straw. We have just a normal metal straw. But then we also have maybe another metal straw, but it's green and it says Slytherin on the top of it. I don't know if you can see, it's very small. But it says Slytherin right there. Now, oh, oh, this says something too. Oh, the, okay, so this one you can hardly see it, but it does say ambition on the top of this straw. You guys see that? It says ambition. So that's cute that it's not just a plain metal straw. It gives us one. Ooh, I wonder if the other ones have different colors because like silver and green go together for Slytherin. We'll have to see. But I love that we have a house trait and then our house name on the straws. Again, this is really unique. Not an item I've seen before. I like that it's house themed and a usable item that we will be able to use every day because I'm always drinking iced coffee. So let's take a look and see how different the Hufflepuff one is for Chris. So Chris's also comes in this velvet bag. This is Cauldron Crate House Drinking Straws. Let's open his up and see what it looks like. Ooh, this makes me excited. Okay, so we get another one of these. Fantastic, might be my favorite little part of it that it came with a pipe cleaner. So for Chris's, because the colors are different for Hufflepuff, his metal straw is like a dark gray, almost black. And it says loyalty on the top of it. And then his other one is like a yellow, but it's like a, it's like a gold color. It's very bright. And then it says Hufflepuff on the top. These are so cute. Leanne, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sending me a Hufflepuff one. Me and Chris are going to get so much use out of these because we are both big coffee drinkers and yeah, we'll definitely be using these a lot. I really enjoy that you made sure to, you know, theme it correctly with our house colors. And I really, really enjoy these. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. There is a white box and I know that we have been receiving mugs for each of the Horcruxes. I think that we're gonna have our mug in here. So let's see what it looks like for the Hufflepuff cup. I am really, really keeping my fingers crossed that these boxes do start back up next year because I need to have a full Horcrux collection of these mugs. It's just something that I didn't know that I needed and now I do. Okay, so this one is a white mug and it has a black interior. Now you can see, what is her name? This is the 1950s and there is a picture of a lady with the Hufflepuff cup and it's the lady that Voldemort stole it from after he killed her and made it into a horcrux from killing her. <sighs> What's her name? What's her name, Chris? I will have to find her name before the end of this video, but it shows her with her cub. And then it moves to 1998 and it shows the mug in Bellatrix's vault. And then if you keep turning it, it shows Hermione destroying the horcrux with the basilisk thing. So that is so fun. I really like that we'll probably get this print as well in the box, but I really like how they made these. I like that it's like the full story of the Horcrux. And yeah, once I know her name, I'll let you know. But overall, I am definitely excited about having the 
third or fourth. I can't remember how many of these boxes we've had, but having a Hufflepuff cup mug that I'm sure Chris will be using. We have something in here that looks like it's marked as evidence and it looks like it might be hot cocoa. What? Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm obviously gonna open it even though it looks like you might not have to, but it says evidence case number, gives a long case number. Description, 200 milliliters, gray tin, filled with what appears to be brown powder of cocoa, recorded by Brian Boggins. I don't know what this is from. Let's take a look. I'm gonna try to save this little evidence sticker even though I'm opening the item. Cause if it's hot cocoa, I'm gonna be using it cause I love hot cocoa. Oh no. Don't ruin the sticker, Allie. Mine has definitely leaked out a little bit. <laughs> So mine is a little messy right now. I will have to make sure to wipe it off later. But you can see that it says, Fry's Pure Concentrated Cocoa. And on the back it says, Recipe for, oh, Recipe for Mistress. What? Mix four heap teaspoons into a cup of hot milk and do not forget the sugar. So, we just have some hot cocoa here, or maybe it's not even hot cocoa. Maybe it's just actual cocoa powder because it says don't forget the sugar. If you've ever thought it was a good idea to eat cocoa just by itself, it's not a good idea. <laughs> definitely needs sugar. So I'll definitely take a look at the cheat sheet and see if that's exactly what this is. But it's really cute. If it is cocoa, I'll definitely be using it. Mine's just a little messy, but it seems like it's a pretty cute little idea. I moved some squigglies and a bunch of stuff fell out of it. So let's just start on the top. Looks like we, ah, we have a little, oh, I'm getting hot cocoa on it. Oh God, I'm throwing stuff. Dang it. I'll have to wipe this bag off too. You'll see a little bit of hot cocoa, but it didn't come on it originally. But we have just this little purple, like velvet bag. Let's open it up and see what we have. I feel like it's maybe something jewelry item. Do you guys see what this is? This is a bracelet that is based off of the cursed opal necklace. Look at how, be I don't know if you can see it. Look at how beautiful this is. You know, the cursed opal necklace is something that I need in my collection. And the fact that there is a bracelet and it looks so good. Like the little beads are beautiful and the design is beautiful. And also this is a really nice size bracelet. Like my wrists are very normal sized. They may be even a little big compared to most people. And it has a lot of room left over. I could put it on the very last one and it would still have all of these chains left over. So that is absolutely beautiful. I was not expecting anything like this in this box. I really didn't know what to expect for the Hufflepuff cup box, but this is gorgeous. And I'm gonna have to wear it 24 seven. This is maybe the prettiest piece of jewelry that I've received in a subscription box ever. Oh! <gasps> I think this goes with our bracelet to make it look like the necklace. Let me show you what this is. Look at this. It's like a little like velvet little silhouette or a little bust for you to put the, oh, I gotta take this off of myself now and put it on this bust so we can see how beautiful it is. Tell me that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. If I, never get to have the real one. At least I have this miniature version on this little bust. I like that you can use it for like other jewelry, but I really like that it has its own little, it's like a little miniature replica. Oh, this really makes me not know if I want to wear this or just keep it displayed like this all the time. I love that they gave us this. This is just something I wasn't expecting, but it makes the item that much more beautiful and like official feeling. Yeah, I really like that they came with this little bust. So here, I can't see what this is, but it looks like one of the wine glass charms that we've been getting in each of these boxes. 
So this should be our Hufflepuff cup one. I'll let you guys see it first. Oh, it looks like it's upside down. Oh, so we do have the Hufflepuff cup and it looks like it has a basilisk fang with it and then some yellow like stones. Let's take a look here. So again, these are really cute items that you can use whenever you're having like a Harry Potter party. And I could definitely see if we had people over for some kind of Harry Potter themed party and Chris needed to mark his wine glass, he would be using this Hufflepuff cup one. It is so cute. I love the little Hufflepuff cup little charm there. And of course the little basilisk fang and it does not have ink on it because this one was not used to destroy the diary. But that's really cute. Again, we've been getting these in each of the Horcrux boxes and I really like the Hufflepuff cup version of it. Okay guys, I usually give you the sneak peek on the pins, but this guy was looking at me so I kind of saw it before, but I am so excited to open it. Look at this. It says the vault pin and it's a Gringotts vault. <sighs> and I can tell it opens. I wonder if it's gonna be like Bellatrix's whole vault with all of her prizes and gold. And the Hufflepuff cup should be in here. Let's see. Oh, it is, you guys. Oh, it has the fake Gryffindor sword. Also the Hufflepuff cup, which you can tell is it because it's a little like shinier than the other ones. And you just see all of the gold. Look at this pin. Look at the back of the vault. Oh, I am obsessed. This is such a good pin. And I will say too, just from opening it, it is very good quality. Like it is not a flimsy little loose hinge. Like I could put this any way and it's gonna stay. So that's really good quality. The pen is beautiful. I am super obsessed with this. I don't have anything close to this and it's gonna be fantastic on my pen board. I'm gonna have to get a new pen board. I already have so many pens filling that bad boy up. Yeah, I might have to get another new pin board, but this is definitely going on one of them. So I can see that there are a few stickers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you. The first one we have is this gorgeous sticker of an Otter Patronus, which I'm guessing we're getting a lot of Hermione items because she actually destroyed the cup. So look at how cute this little sticker is and how shiny. I really like that one. I love getting Hermione items. Then we have this beautiful image of the Hufflepuff cup being destroyed. So you can see the cup and you can see like the whole basilisk fang like in it with the Horcrux being destroyed like right here. But that is beautiful. I really like these stickers. All the ones that I've gotten from the Cauldron Crate are just gorgeous. And then on this one, I'm guessing this is maybe Bellatrix and it's showing the Azkaban prison. So I'm thinking Bellatrix's Azkaban number and her in shackles since she is who had the Hufflepuff cup. So those are really cute little stickers. Let's see, there's some more stuff in here. Let me go ahead and show you. This is the same print that was on our mug, but you can see it laid out a little better and you can see, what is her name? It's gonna really bother me until I can remember her name. But we have the original owner of the Hufflepuff cup. Well, besides Helga Hufflepuff. Then you have the cup itself in the vault of Bellatrix's. And then you have Hermione destroying it. These are really cute. I feel like whenever I get all of them, I need to get like a little frame and put them like going down like this with all the different scenes for the Horcruxes. I think that would be a really cute thing to have framed. So again, and I believe this is from Shayna Creates and they're just beautiful and of course I love it. I don't know what this item is, but it's really heavy and it's just wrapped in like bubble wrap. Let's see, kind of feels like it's square. Maybe it's a potion. It does look like a potion. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is a dragon blood potion and it looks like it's all chained up. Definitely reminds me of the dragon that is in Gringotts. It's just 
beautiful. Look at the label here where it says dragon blood. You can see there's a little dragon, little charm that they set on the top of it with the wax seal. And the wax is black and this dark maroon color. Oh, you can see it. But then look at the back of this. You can see that the actual potion that they've used really looks like blood. It's not one of those, you know, like beautiful sparkly potions. It just looks like blood and it's like the perfect disgusting consistency. But this is such a good potion. And this potion bottle is like really thick glass. Like when I'm holding this, I feel like this is a high quality potion. So I am obsessed with this. This is 100% going on my potion shelf, if not like its own piece on a different shelf. This is just beautiful. All right guys, so there's only two more items left. And they came packaged like this, so I don't know if they go together, but there's like a box and then there was a little letter sitting on top of it. So I'm gonna open the letter first. I will say the box is not that heavy. Oh, there's two letters. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I know her name now because this first letter says Miss Hepsibiah, the old barn in Surrey. Is it Hepsibiah Smith? Is that her name? I'm pretty sure that's her name now that I couldn't remember for the longest time. Hepsibiah Smith is the lady from our print and our mug. Let's open this one first. <gasps> I have to save this wax seal. I need to find out where to get this wax seal. My sister bought me a wax seal set for my birthday and I can't wait to use it, but I need this. Look at this Borgen and Burks wax seal. <sighs> I have to keep it safe and not mess it up. Oh, it came undone so easily. So let's see. So this I'm thinking is a letter from Voldemort to Hepzibiah Smith. Let's see what it says. Oh, I think this is another one of the things that we received that is like showing Dumbledore's research into the Horcruxes because you can see there are little green lines in here with like questions, like trying to decode this letter. So it says, Dear Miss Hepzibiah. Oh, and it says pet name with a question mark. Hope this letter finds you in continued good health and spirits. I've been meaning to come by and examine the fine goblin made armor that you mentioned to Mr. Burke on his last visit. I can only imagine its magnificence having been collected by a lady with such fine taste as yourself. And it does say there's a note that says never mentioned in Borgen and Burke's records about the goblin made armor. It says, can you recall the name of the forger or the date of its production? No matter if not, these are things much better discussed in person where I will have opportunity to spend more time in your delightful presence. Let me know a date that suits you. Yours, Tom. And under Tom, it says, I am quite sure this is Tom Riddle. Yes, it is. So this is him like trying to set up a face-to-face -face meeting where he kills her and steals the Hufflepuff cup, which is terrible. But I really like that replica. Again, these are cool little replicas that are just so original. Like you wouldn't even think about them. I feel like I should definitely throw this in here because I haven't mentioned it yet. That Tabby, my best friend Tabby, Gryffindor bookworm, she helps curate these cauldron crate boxes. So just from talking about, or just from talking to her, I know how many great ideas she has for stuff like this. So I am not surprised that this box is killing it already because Leanne is amazing. And with Tabby helping her, these were just made to be fantastic boxes. So this is a really cute little replica. Let's see what the next one is. This one looks much like sweeter. It is a pink wax seal on here that says Hufflepuff. And it's a really kind of girly kind of letter. Oh, this is her letter back to him. It says, Dearest Tom, Borgen and Burks, and it gives her the Nocturne Alley address. So let's see what she said back to him. This is so cool. Look at how girly her stationery is. I love it. Oh, and it has the Hufflepuff little crest at the top because she is a descendant of the Hufflepuff. It says, My dear Tom, Thank you ever so much for your kind letter and the delicious box of cherry liquor chocolates. You know me so well. I would be delighted to have you call by my humble abode once more. You know how much I adore seeing you. How about four o'clock on Saturday? 
And then it has just some other things that she's wrote in here. And it says, yours always, Hepzibiah. So that is so cool that we have her response back from his letter. These are just, again, really great little replicas that I am going to love finding a place for on a shelf. Okay, guys, so we are on our very last box from the Cauldron Crate. Now, I will say I have zero ideas what's in here. It's kind of a light box, but it feels like there's maybe one kind of big item in here. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, it looks like it's wrapped up, but maybe another box. Okay, so there's a box in here. And I still don't know what's in here, so let's get this open. So this box has some styrofoam in here, so I'm still very unsure what this item is. Ooh! Oh, this is cool! So we have the Hufflepuff cup, you guys, but it has like a hole in here from where it was stabbed with the basilisk fang. They've done a really good job on this, actually. It's a, just a really cute little perfect size replica. You can see on here, like right on the badger, it looks like something has been punctured inside of that. But you can tell that this is the entry point and this is the exit because there is stuff coming out of the cup, whereas everything goes in here. So if you look on the back, you can see that it's like coming out, whereas the other side, it is not. So, and I'm not, this might just be made out of resin, but it feels really nice quality. I, I was like trying to think of what they would do for the Hufflepuff cup. I didn't know if we'd get an actual replica, but I really like that they have it kind of the destroyed version of the Hufflepuff cup. I, I was just thinking I have like some extra basilisk fangs, but I don't think any of them would fit in here. I wonder if maybe they'll have anything like that in the future, like a basilisk fang that would actually go in here. But this is a really cool little take on the Hufflepuff cup and I definitely enjoy it. This is definitely gonna go on one of my shelves. So Leanne always sends the cheat sheet just as a PDF and an email with your tracking information. So I'm gonna go ahead and just read it from my phone, make sure we got all of the items. So the first item is the destroyed cup replica. Number two is the collectible cup wine charm. Number three was the set of three premium stickers. Number four was the personalized curse breaker job application. Number five was the cursed playing cards. Number six was the dragon blood potion. Number seven were the house straws, which we got Slytherin and Hufflepuff. Number eight was the vault pin. Number nine was the HS letter, which would be the Hepzibiah Smith letter. Oh, and then the next item was the TMR letter. So they were two different items. And then the last item that would have just been available in the regular chest was the collectible cup story art, which would be that little print of the history of the Hufflepuff cup. Then we have a few extra items that were just included in the premium box. The first one being the cursed bracelet. I can tell you right now, if I wouldn't have got the premium box and I found out about that item, I would have been heartbroken. So that item only came in the premium chest. The next item was the bracelet stand that goes with it. The next item was the brightest witch t-shirt. Then the collectible cup story mug. And then the last item was Hokey's Cocoa. Let's see what it says about Hokey's Cocoa. It says, I couldn't finish the chest without referencing poor Hokey, the house elf who took the fall for her mistress's untimely demise. We've managed to get a hold of the infamous Coco that supposedly took her out, stolen from the ministry's evidence locker. That was not even in my brain at all. I had no idea what was happening. It says, display this or use to make a delicious drink. All curses and poisons have been removed. Um, it does say that it contains sugar, cocoa powder, salt, flavoring, and then cocoa solids. So it does look like it is hot cocoa mix. It already has sugar in it. So that's really nice. But yeah, that wasn't even in my brain, but that's a really cool little additional item. And yeah, so it looks like we did receive everything out of our Cauldron Crate box. So now that we know that we've received everything out of the box, let me go over my favorite and least favorite items. So if I had to choose the least favorite item, I think I'm gonna go with the hot cocoa. It's not a bad item. I'm definitely gonna be using it. I love hot cocoa, 
but maybe just compared to everything else, it's my least favorite. But I mean, this box was just jam packed full of a lot of really cool items. Now, as much as I would love to say that there were so many of them that are my favorite, although I love a lot of them, there is one favorite and it is 100% the cursed opal necklace bracelet and the stand that goes with it. I am just obsessed with the cursed opal necklace and to finally have something in my collection that's like a little miniature replica. It is definitely not something that I expected to find in this box and yeah, it's one of my favorite things that I've ever received from a subscription box. It is beautifully done and just so cool and so original. So this is 100% my favorite item from Culture Crate. Now, as you can probably tell, I thought that this box was fantastic. I really enjoy whenever boxes have kind of like a really good combination of usable items and replicas. So we had, you know, the Cursed Opal Necklace replica. We have the Hufflepuff Cup replica. We have the potion and there were just so many cool little things in here that are going to be going on my shelves. But I also love that Leanne and Tabby, they always make sure to put in like some really usable items. I'm so excited that Chris and me both received our house straws. I know that we're going to get a lot of use out of them, but the mugs are always really cool and just, yeah, I just had a really fun time opening this box. I would definitely love to hear what you guys thought about it though. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the box. Give me your favorite and least favorite items and let me know how much you are really hoping that these boxes continue next year. I'm so scared that, you know, life will just take over and we might not receive any of these Horcrux boxes anymore. Leanne, if you're watching this, I 100% understand needing to take some time. I know that you've went through medical school and it's a lot of stuff to go through just in life. I, of course, maybe just the selfish little bit of me is really hoping that next year you'll be able to get the rest of these boxes out because I'm just so obsessed with them. I love the whole Horcrux collection theming. I am so excited to see what you do, what you and Tabby come up with for the other boxes. So fingers crossed that everything works out in 2023 for us to get the rest of these boxes. But definitely you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about the whole situation. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.